So we're here on the, just off the 101. Um, we're looking at the northbound lanes of the 101, um, right near Hampshire, the Hampshire Road exit, and a large oil tanker um, crashed early this morning and it's disabled all northbound traffic and also southbound traffic. So a huge problem here. We have a lot of water being put onto the um, tanker itself to try to make sure we maintain low temperatures, um, but it's been hugely problematic. So I don't know how many engines are here, but there's multiple engines, um, Caltrans, uh, hazmat uh, crew, etc and lots of police for law enforcement, etc. So this is a great example of one of the many ancillary knock-on effects of needing to move so much oil around so much to support our um, uh, oil-based economy. So different, oh, there's, there's risk with any time, at any time we move uh, product substances around. But in particular, we have such a distributed network with um, uh, oil and gas that we have a huge reliance on trucks, on trucking, on individual vehicles. So that's not tankering, that's not um, trains, that's not pipelines. Those are all, on average, um, less likely to have an accident than our um, individual vehicles, semis, uh, etc. So uh, this is one small example. So this is Mother's Day, 2020. So one, um, we're in the middle, still in the middle of the coronavirus quarantine homestay, but we also have um, this this huge reduction in traffic now, and the ability, the, the lack of ability to use this major thoroughfare, one of the two main uh, north-south thoroughfares in California, the other being Highway 5. So. Um, a uh, huge accident here on the 101. Another example of the challenges of moving petroleum uh, up and down the state of California and across our planet. 